you've been commissioned a lot in your, in your past. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is there a good story? But uh, a wonderful <laughs> story, isn't there, about being commissioned to do something about... Uh, it was in Saskatchewan. Oh, right? oh, uh, yeah. Well, in Saskatchewan, uh, uh, we started when they realized that we had this uh, ability to go to schools all over the province. They mm -hmm. would give us uh, commissions. Uh, there was one on traffic safety, and I said, "No, I'm." I'm can't do a play about traffic safety. I am an artist. <laughs> uh, and uh, Ken said, well, yeah, but there's some money involved. Why don't you go home and think about it? <laughs> so, uh, I went home and uh, decided, uh, oh, but there is this mythology that, of the car and the way we use cars to mm -hmm. do pre for prestige, to seduce girls, to, <laughs> to, uh, to commit suicide, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so why don't I write a play about the car mythology? So it was a kind of a cabaret. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, uh, on another occasion, the government of Saskatchewan, it was the, uh, it was the divine government, that, a period when the conservatives had held the, held the reins. Hmm. And um, the, uh, we were commissioned uh, to do a gala a spectacle for uh, a royal visit. Ooh. And uh, I don't know what happened, but I got to direct my own play, and I, I don't really think that's a good idea. It's sort of like mm -hmm. uh, having yourself for a lawyer, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, so it was presented in the uh, Center for the Arts in Regina. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the Queen and Prince Philip were in a special box, mm -hmm. and the occasion was the building, uh, the anniversary of the building of the Saskatchewan Legislature. And would we provide a big theatrical gala for this uh, occasion? Uh, so I was asked uh, not only to write the play but to direct it because. Uh, some kind of exigency, I can't remember what it was. Uh, so uh, the, the play was performed in the Center of the Arts in Regina uh, for uh, a, uh, as was, the women were to wear cocktail dresses and the smell of the hairspray just sort of filled the whole of the, and uh, of so, yeah. uh, so Her Majesty and the Prince were sitting in this in this uh, uh, balcony, uh, this box. Mm -hmm. And I had written a play called uh, uh, Prairie Wind. Uh, and I was aware, uh, because it was supposed to be about politics, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, and I had uh, a kind of a cleaning woman uh, open the show. She's cleaning the legislative chamber with her mop and pail like Carol Burnett, right? Mm -hmm. And she looks up and she catches sight of the royal couple there and she, she uh, tells them how, how honored she is to see them here and, and she hopes that Her Majesty wouldn't mind but she's always had a thing for Prince Philip. <laughs> um, and, uh, the play goes on with various uh, things that were supposed to have happened in the legislature, but also bits and pieces of scenes from Saskatchewan history. But one of the scenes that I had, uh, had I had a, a politician from Saskatoon, he's, he's, uh, he stands up, he says, Mr. Speaker, I have just returned from the great city of, of Paris, France. Uh, and uh, I noticed while I was there that there are a number of facilities on the, on the street corners where a gentleman can go behind uh, a, through a, the, a wall and, 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 and do his business. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am proposing that uh, in this motion uh, that we have uh, a budget set aside for similar uh, facilities in uh, the the buckle of the wheat belt, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> um, and uh, another 
benighted politician rises to his feet and says, uh, Mr. Speaker, the, 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 the former member was proposing public urinals in Saskatoon. Uh, I would like to go one step further and propose uh, public arsenals. <laughs> So, uh, after the show, um, I was uh, I had the job of uh, escorting the couple uh, and the the party with the premier and so on down mm -hmm. the stairway to meet the actors. Mm -hmm. And Prince Philip was really bouncy and jolly, and he said, "Is that true? Is that true?" And the Queen. Uh, turned to the premier behind her and, and said, uh, you, you uh, commissioned this? <laughs> he said, well, the, the province did, your majesty. She said, very brave, very brave. <laughs> Uh, and that was I, a compliment. I, yeah, yeah, it was, I hope it was. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure which part she was thinking of uh, that demanded courage. <laughs> the, 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 the cleaning woman or the, <laughs> 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 the, the, the politician. <laughs> That's wonderful. And... Um, and uh, what was... It, it must have been... Uh, it must have been quite... Uh, um, Weird to meet the, the Queen and uh, Prince Philip. Must have been weird. Weird? Yeah. Uh, well, well, you know. I would have been weirded out. I would have been. Somebody, somebody has a, took a picture of me coming down the stairs with the royal party. Mm -hmm. And they sent it to me and they had labeled it. And your majesty, this is my domain. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't you forget it. <laughs> That's wonderful.